Oh my God, a Rob Liefeld sketchbook. Volume one, it says. Well, we shouldn't be too worried about volume one implying a volume two or three, because if there's one thing we know about Liefeld, he doesn't complete almost anything in this era. It's start something, stop, start something, stop, start something, stop, hand it off to someone else, never see the completion, never know where it goes. He can't finish anything. But as much as I have problems with Liefeld's work in a lot of ways, like I've said, for those of you, you know who you are. We, uh, I interact with um, many of you commenters on, on this channel. We all know who you are, Mr. D-Man, you know, B-Side Comics, Danielle, a bunch of you. You all know that uh, I like Liefeld's older stuff, but the newer it gets, the more a giant steaming pile of rotting donkey shit it becomes. But his rough, rough sketch work, his very quick noodly, like just throw a piece of typing paper down and get a pen and just start scribbling. I think that stuff has some really interesting energy and vibes that I like. It's such a complicated relationship I have with Mr. Liefeld. It's some, some suck him off and some he just sucks. But why couldn't they bother to put something on the back fucking cover? Like it's just a blank white surface. Like put something. I don't know, photocopy your cock and just put it on here and we'll see it. We'll just, you know, just have it pointing up, just pff, and put Liefeld's cock, look at it. I don't know. Let's see if I'm crazy. This book has got some stain on it. Speaking of cocks. Anyway, Rob Liefeld sketchbook. There's some other drawings of this character, this thing. We're going to get into that bullshit later. This says he was a uh, illustration, you know, into intended for a young blood blood sport something that uh, he decided not to continue on with that's that's nothing interesting that's too refined to be that rough sketchy stuff that i like that sucks these things this kind of rough thing like there's so much energy and movement in that i kind of dig it this rough thing that he does here and then he gets out some markers and colors them kind of okay with it like when he doesn't all this doesn't have the opportunity to put all this bullshit rendering on a face when it's just the simple facial features, eyes, nose, mouth, I don't mind the way that head looks at all. Like I I would do that. I would be happy if I come up with that. These things are more of what I'm talking about. These rough layouts, these sketchy things where he's working out angles and storytelling. There's something there that really works. These are extremely rough. But here's more of this, like, just getting characters in poses. I don't know why this, like, is this piss-ugly yellow whatever the hell color. It looks terrible. But I kind of like these, just these rough drawings. Not bad. It's not terrible. <clears throat> and, of course, Alan Moore gets on Supreme and starts making like the most amazing Superman stories you've never, ever read. Just checking. This is from March of 2004. And, uh, and then he creates a Suprema. There's a girl version. And so Liefeld, of course, has to jump on that. So um, he re redesigned her costume for the series, ditching the cape and giving her a more modern look with shorts and instead of a skirt. A more modern look? She looks like she's like in exercise gear from the 90s. Liefeld legitimately moved the New Mutants from like their 80s bullshit into a modern 90s aesthetic into the X-Force and it worked, but he is still fucking stuck there. And then once you move past the 90s, when he was relevant, anything else he does is that giant, smelly, rotting donkey shit. <clears throat> um, I've said that I liked his rejects work. I like this drawing. Even the giant fucking stupid feet boot things. Don't know why. Can't justify it. I don't mind that angry face. Everything that has Liefeld's problems is here. But I like it. Somehow it works. And this is supposed to be like this character Scarab. Yeah. He used to be a bad guy. And this is what he'd look like. Like a hairy Wolverine cable clone combination with pointy shoes and big like umpire knee pads. 
And then when he became a good guy, he saw the error of his ways. He shaved all that shit off to a wicked sweet goatee and a crazy short Wolverine hair and put on some giant boots and changed out his sword, his guns for swords. Awesome, right? More rejects. There's that uh, genie girl that always wore like this microscopic tiny bikini most of the time. Like, there you go. There she is. Big, giant, fluffy boots with like claw teeth things. I actually like that design. Whatever. I don't care. Fight me. <laughs> um, this drawing here, which is a rough sketch that he took into a final drawing there. This is another one of those that all of Liefeld's problems are still present. I still like it. That's an exaggerated, over-the-top, sexy girl with like giant perky titties and the hips and the legs, but I kind of like it. Why is there moments where I can, I, I know it's wrong, but I like it. That arm coming forward, he even for fuck's sake drew that hand holding the sword at a proper angle. He, he has so many instances where he'll just draw a character pointing their hand out and then just has a blade coming out of it, but they are no way grasping the hand is not grasping the sword. That shit happens all the time. But look, he actually did it there. He must have had a moment of clarity. He had what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity. That face of that guy's pretty awesome. And whoever that twat is, I don't mind that weird looking headgear. Looks like he's standing over a, like a vent and getting his skirt blown up. Whatever. I just, I dig it. I can't tell you why. Oh yeah, we were talking in another video about how Liefeld, uh, he's a Christian fella, so he likes to write stories based on Bible-based bullshit. And um, Testament is a project I've been working on for years. It is a faithful reimagining. How is that? It's a faithful reimagining of some of my favorite Bible stories with a more science fiction and fantasy look to them. Why can't the Bible look as cool as Star Wars was the question I based this on. This is supposed to be Noah. Okay. Just stop. It's embarrassing. Um, Reimagining the events in the book of Exodus. Here Egypt is depicted with floating pyramids and flying chariots. All right, that's fine. This is a depiction of Joshua who will eventually lead the battle against Jericho. Okay. Even back in ancient times, they had that ridiculous bullshit Shatterstar hair. Samson and Delilah as Will Smith circa his Ali physique and Jada Pinkett Smith. Samson is my favorite of the bunch so far. Wow. Yeah, that looks just like Jada. I mean, she's bald. And that looks just like Will Smith. Yes, it does. Good job. You nailed it. So ridiculous. And um, David and Goliath, right? David is just like a hoverboard. That's Marty McFly on his hoverboard. And there's a giant robot is Goliath. That's stupid. Some new character. All right. Some guy with hair and headgear and swords and shit hanging with shoulder pads and belts and jackets and stupid shit. Very original. This is a character that I've been wanting to use for some time. He's a futuristic warrior, a concept I never grow to get tired of. Yeah, we noticed. I was experimenting with different color schemes in these costume designs. I guess. They look all right in this sketch form. Here's more of the same guy, right? Yeah, more of the same character, more battle-ready armored costumes where the previous designs where he was outfitted with more scout gear. Is that an armored design? Fuck off, Liefeld. True Danger. True Danger, a comic book written by myself and penciled by my frequent collaborator, Marat Michaels, has been sitting on the shelf for over a year, but I expect to release it in the near future. True Danger is a property I developed that is currently making the rounds in Hollywood. Uh-huh. The story centers on a special ops super spy who retires and attempts to raise her baby amidst a backdrop of espionage that threatens the world and refuses to let her go. So in case you are curious, Rob Liefeld draws a baby. Does it look like mini me? That doesn't look like a woman. That's like a, that's a dude. And look, that's a baby. He's got some muscle-toned arms. Like a, Liefeld can't draw anything but big, round, muscle-toned arms, even on a fucking baby. That is really stupid. 
like stupid, stupid. So you got Vern Troyer and Schwarzenegger. That that I would watch that shit. Make that movie. I'll watch it. Schwarzenegger can play a chick, and Vern Troyer. I mean, I know he's dead. Whatever. I should make fun of the dead. Liefeld does these little tiny sketchy figures of things like this. I've seen drawings like these of um, him creating the designs for X-Force characters. And I like these little quick sketchy things like these. Not these necessarily, those are fine. But when he does these little things like this, these like, look at these quick dashed off squiggly lines to indicate these legs. Something about them works. I, I kind of dig it. This girl, it's not bad. Galaxy Girl. The drawings on this are the on the following page are from a property called Galaxy Girl that is currently in development for a film for Paramount <laughs> Paramount Pictures. The story centers on a girl named Tara who discovers her on her 18th birthday that she is the empress of a distant alien civilization. She must fight against the spies that have infiltrated her high school that seek to keep her from realizing her galactic legacy. Holy shit, I can't believe that's not a movie with 10 sequels. Fuck you, Liefeld, and you're like, it's currently shopping around. Like, he was so anxious to get his bullshit on the screen, and it never happened. And somebody else, Ryan Reynolds, made Deadpool happen. And, of course, there's no denying where Liefeld created the template for Deadpool. But uh, what a bunch of steaming shit. Here's a shot of Tara after she accepts her cosmic destiny and has her hair turned pink. What? She accepts her destiny, so she turns her hair pink? And she's got a lightsaber? And Star-Lord's gun? This is an illustration for a property called The Mark that is in development at Paramount Pictures with Will Smith attached to produce and star. Fuck you, Liefeld. Fuck you and all your bullshit. I've got all these properties and I'm putting them into movie theaters and they're all going to come. Nothing has happened. So you got The Mark. You got this Galaxy Girl bullshit. Um, oh, yeah. These characters were um, a collaboration called The Hood with myself and rapper Easy e of NW fame. So I'm sure they're going to turn that into something. And then True Danger. This is so stupid. Anyway, that's not a horrible drawing, I guess. He's like 20 feet tall. But just another, like, the mark. And then the back cover is a big blank pile of shit which is what essentially is in the rest of this thing with his concept. So I don't know. There's better versions of Liefeld's sketchy artwork. There's not much in here that was actually interesting in the way that I um, I like his stuff. But there was some okay stuff in there. It's fine. It's fine. It's just fine. But, um, man, fuck that guy. Anyway, I'm done. That's it. Thanks. Bye.